Hello guys, welcome back. In this video, let's have a look on histogram scan. Uh, this filter is used to control the contrast and brightness of grayscale images. It will generally help you to contract or expand the mask which you, are, which you use and uh, uh, specially suitable for the grayscale images. So right now I've got a model which is a, a meat mat from the substance uh, painter sample files. So I'm going to create a new layer, okay, a solid layer. And I'm going to take a color here okay and then i'm going to reduce the roughness of this uh, like that or maybe i can increase the roughness maybe so i'm going to select that layer copy it and then apply it to the body okay so i've got this layer so i'm going to work on the head for now or maybe body i'll add a new layer but before going into working on this i'm going to show you how this is going to work so i'll go to uh, take a simple uh, fill layer and i'm going to add a a grunge map here in the base color then you get this then i'll add a filter okay and in filter i'm going to choose histogram scan then you have this position which is by default 0 0.5 so when i increase the, uh, that you should be able to see the white is expanding out and when you reduce that white is shrinking down to black so that's the main use of this and uh, you have the contrast which can make things more sharp as per the requirement and then you can invert uh, the values now what that actually means just have a look on the value of 0.2 and then have a look on 0.8 okay so when i'm in the 0.8 and then when i say invert position that gives me a 0.2 value why 1 minus 0.8 is 0.2 but when you are in 0.5 let's have a look how this is going to work so there is no difference let me take a value of 0.1 and then when i say invert it gives you a result of 0.9 contrast so that's the invert of the uh, position okay then we have the contrast which makes things more contrast um, if you want a sharper one okay so it's very simple tool to understand so I'm going to select this and delete and then I'm going to add a new layer and I'm not going to use the color height etc I just use the um, roughness attribute so you have one the matte finish and another one is a rough okay so here I'm going to add a mask I'm going to put a black or white mask there okay and uh, in that I'm going to add a fill and in the fill, I'm going to use a grunge map. Okay, we have this nice uh, smudges, uh, grunges here. Okay, you can use any one of them. I'm just exploring different types. Maybe I'll just drop this here. Then you should be able to get this uh, texture spread across the model. And now I'm going to add a filter on top of it. And that should be our histogram scan. And then you should be able to see the way I'm, I'm sp spreading the texture of that uh, grunge. Okay. I'm going to rotate the texture here for better placement and then you should be able to see that texture again it's uh, working on the UV so I can maybe try using with the triplanar projection and then uh, rotate this texture there and that should work fine okay so it's all about exploring this texture and see how much of you want that texture on top of it okay uh, you have different types of textures you explore that textures also and see uh, what is really working for you okay you have some fingerprints also you can check them too okay it, it is grunge uh, fingerprints dirty so you can use that and uh, you can get that fingerprints effect on your model okay again again you can check with the texture there uh, again you can invert these textures if you wanted uh, from this attribute and then you should be able to get the fingerprints here just need to explore the texture okay so that gives that nice organic look to your model so i'm going to select this layer i'm going to copy that and i'm going to paste it on uh, the other parts of the model to replicate the same thing okay your paste instance which uh, right now it's not relevant just i just wanted to show you how things work here so just explore the texture and uh, let me know if you have any questions.